Hey, what is up guys? It's your main man Elazard here and welcome to episode 2 of Road to 1 Million. So as you can see on your screens right now, I'm sending them all to the trade power, listing them all for 200 by now. Trying to make a little profit, selling everything, absolutely everything in the club. So this series essentially is a road to glory, except with a little twist, it has an end into it when we hit 1 million coins. Going to try and make it fun, going to try and put some wages in to get there quicker and also some trading. It's going to have all that good stuff. If you have any suggestions, then feel free to put a comment down below. And also, guys, I want to ask you for a little favor. If you're familiar with the Alp 27HD, really nice guy, helps out the community. He does a little Sunday shout-out series. If you like my content and you'd like to see me on there, then please go ahead and send him a message or comment on one of his videos recommending me for a Sunday shout-out. Really help me out, guys, so if you could please go and do that, we'll be well appreciated. So with that done, after selling everything in the club and accumulating a total revenue of coins of around 7,000, went ahead and started building a squad, also opened some bronze packs to fill up the bench. Also, bronze packs, guys, are the only type of pack that you can realistically make a good profit out of. Some team of the season advice here. Be sure to open some bronze packs as there is a good number of bronze informs that go for quite a bit. And the packs are only 400 coins, so that's just a little tip for you there for the team of the season. So we somehow ended up with this team. It's because I effed it up and bought three strikers instead of two strikers and one centre forward so the chemistry effed up and I ran out of coins halfway so I decided to go into a gold cup tournament and try and pick up the necessary coins to complete the squad and this is the first guy that I came up against not a very expensive team but definitely an effective one and also quite a few pacey players there that we're going to have to deal with like Mikkeli and Levetsi and straight away in this game 8th minute I was faced with another what the fuck moment from EA what the fuck? typical FIFA 13 now let's just take another look at this goal that I've just conceded. I don't know what the hell happened there, but it's this impact engine, I don't know what to blame it on. But the players just seem to not know where they're going. They're always bumping into each other. You saw in the Julio Cesar clip, he walked the ball into his own net. And this happened to us in our first match as well. The defence clashed into each other due to the shitty impact engine or whatever it is. And then the guy was thrown goal and able to score a very easy, undeserved goal. But no matter what happens, no matter what EA try to do to make me lose games, I'm not going to let this game slip. We will reach 1 million. Jackson Martins with a feeble shot on goal, receives a crossback from Ronaldo, and yes! Heads it in to the back of the net. Game one. I started losing hope, guys. I got chance after chance, but I couldn't take them. The game even started getting boring at some points. But then I got this chance from the counter-attack with Adrian. Cut back in, cut back out, dribbling about. I thought I lost the chance, but then I got a clear sight of going... Adrian missed it. Oh my god, no! If I had anyone else on the bench, I would have subbed him off. But it was the 87th minute. I couldn't let my emotions get the better of me. And I had no one else on the bench anyway. Joao Martinho though, restarting the attack. Rodrigo crosses it in. Adrian on the volley! Oh my god! Yes! 90th minute! We've won the game! We've won the game! Oh my god! Look at that! What a volley! I. It wasn't even that good, but we'll take it. We'll take it in the 19th minute against a far superior team. It doesn't matter. We'll take the goal. What a victory. That's it for episode 2, lads. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Leave a comment down below in a rating if you have enjoyed it. You've been listening to Elazid telling you how it is. Please like, subscribe, and have a good day. Follow me on Twitter.